The family of Ellen Greenberg vowed to fight, and tomorrow the battle to clear their daughter's name continues. In a follow-up story to the one you saw here last year, CBS 21's Ryan Eldridge catching up with the family surrounding Ellen's controversial death more than a decade ago. When you're a parent, your child is your everything, your whole world. So it's no surprise that Harrisburg's Josh and Sandy Greenberg are just as active advocating for their daughter today as they were when she was alive. And it's no surprise that they're preparing for a big court date more than a decade after their daughter took her last breath. The world fell out from under us. Then we started to regroup. Then we started to put the pieces back together. Friday is the big day. For Josh and Sandy Greenberg, it's their day in court, a chance to argue that their daughter did not commit suicide, that Ellen Greenberg was murdered. We would like the cause and manner of death changed. To homicide. That would be the best we could hope for. For 10 years, they fought to prove their 27-year-old daughter didn't stab herself 20 times in her manioc home back in January of 2011. Despite the ruling of the Philadelphia Medical Examiner's Office citing the lack of evidence of an intruder, or signs of a struggle. She was a vivacious, loving daughter. Looking forward to getting married, sent out her save the date cards. We don't know the why. That's the big question here. What is the why? This week, they'll finally get a chance to make a change to get the city's medical examiner to remove suicide as the cause of death from the record. I have a mission, I have a purpose, to get justice for my daughter, as does Sandy. To get justice, the family will bring what they're calling new evidence to court, a deposition from a neuropathologist who now claims there was no hemorrhaging around the stab wound in Ellen's spinal cord, a sign that it would have happened after the elementary school teacher lost her pulse. They also have a technology expert's analysis of Ellen's computer, suggesting she never made web searches related to suicide, as alleged, by the state attorney general's office. The investigation should be reopened with an independent investigator and find out who murdered our daughter. The court proceedings are set to start virtually Friday afternoon, but the family doesn't expect a ruling until a later date. As previously reported by CBS 21 News, the attorney general's office has looked into this case. They say the evidence supports suicide as the manner of death. The Greenbergs have questioned their involvement and the involvement of several staffers from the office. For CBS 21 News, I'm Ryan Eldridge.